thought I'd post a video of an autonomous pie mower that I'm building. This is just the pictures of the basic chassis. Um, and it's using a Raspberry Pi 3 Plus B, I think. Anyway, it has uh, three ultrasonic sensors. It has three 12 volt, and they're, I think they're actually maybe up to 30 amp motor controllers. Uh, it's got a uh, 12 volt, 10 amp hour battery. Uh, there's a ground block that I built, a power block. There's actually a transition block. Uh, it's basically using resistors to... A, the, the, those are the... Uh, how do I explain that? The ultrasonic sensors are 5 volts, so in order to use them with a Raspberry Pi, you have to use resistors in order to not burn out your GPIO pins. Um, there's an on-off switch and there's an onboard. Basically what I did was I took a car plug uh, for a cell phone and I just unpackaged it, uh, made a hot glue pad, set it in there, and it allows me to plug a USB in to power the Raspberry Pi. Uh, a bunch of zip ties, a bunch of aluminum, and let's see, there's... Uh, 240 RPM geared motors, and those I wound up getting off of, it starts with an A and everybody knows it, uh, anyway, uh, wheels uh, purchased from the hardware store, just regular old lawnmower wheels and I modified them. Uh, there's a 300 RPM mower uh, for the actual mower that would control the blade and then some hubs that are like a hub that would go on that same for the wheels all the aluminum and nuts bolts screws etc for the most part either came from the store that starts with an a or uh, from the local hardware store and I chose aluminum because frankly I do more woodworking than anything else and aluminum is pretty easy to tool that's about it. I should probably correct myself. That's uh, 3,000 RPM for the blade motor. I'll give you a little bit of a play-by-play -play and tell you how I've got this programmed. So anytime that the front sensor detects an object closer, I think than 70 centimeters, I believe is what I have it set on, it turns around, just does a 180 and goes back the other direction. While it's traveling, if it's you know, between, I think I have it set at between maybe two feet and out to maybe five feet. If it senses something in front of it, then it drives around that. It basically takes the readings from either one of the outside uh, ultrasonic sensors and says which one has more open area and go ahead and go that direction. So here, like it can see me, I'm standing and so it's turning basically I try to be a tree there I think it sees you know, occasionally it'll see like uh, the side of a house or something along that line you can see it kind of move around a little bit uh, once it gets around to the back of the yard I will say this so one of the things that I've really noticed about like the ones that, that are the autonomous mowers that you can buy so everybody's got that fencing set up for me, I'm not building a fencing setup because I'm actually going to wind up using GPS to do a bullpen. And I've got a, an area, it's a field basically, that just has some trees in it. That's what I built this mower for. It's just to go pre-mow basically for me. If you really want to do a good job and say you're going to use it in town, I, I really think using the guided wires. You know, you could do centimeter GPS, but it's just kind of cost prohibitive. Um, 
I'm making mess with that eventually. I'm not sure, but it's uh like I said, I mean it's probably three hundred dollars or so to be able to do that, uh, and that's like the super cheap way because you can spend I think probably ten thousand dollars pretty easy on that. So anyway, the uh, this one, this the mowers that you another couple of things about the mowers that you can purchase. So I've been looking at uh, there's the new Terra that's out there. I think is what they're calling it. If you look at those things, they are they run very close to the ground. What I found, I had mine originally built. The chassis was four inches off the ground. I just drug grass. I could not move in thick Bermuda. Uh, this thing, even though it's off the ground completely, I mean, I think it's sitting somewhere around seven and a half or eight inches above the ground. And then I have the motor for the actual blade dropped below. It's still in thick Bermuda has a rough time. Zoysia, it has a hard time. Uh, that said, the rear wheel that I have on this is only three inches. And... At some point, I'm going to have to redesign that. It won't matter for the field area that I'm talking about because the grass isn't very thick. But, uh, and in fact, here in the front of this yard, uh, you can see it's the grass often isn't super thick. So I did okay. Otherwise, I mean, that's about it. And I'll probably post some other videos if people have questions or whatever, just how I did it, why I did it, how I removed weight, things of that nature.